friends, it's Kara. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to show you how to make this a darling little party favor uh, treat box. Um, actually, it can be used for a ton of occasions, but uh, I thought this, um, when I had this in mind, I thought that it would be like a little party favor, uh, welcoming your guests to whatever kind of event you may be having, a baby shower, wedding shower, a uh, birthday party, but it's just absolutely just adorable. And it fits a normal size Ghirardelli square, so you can just get one in there. But um, I just love how this turned out. It's just absolutely adorable. And I'm gonna show you the products that I'm using. So for the stamp set, I'm using Animal Outing. Uh, so I'm just using the Welcome. I came up with the Welcome and then that little cute little flourish there at the bottom. And I am using the matching designer series paper. So this is called Animal Expedition, and this is part of the buy three, get one free designer series papers. So when you buy three collections, you can choose one for, for free, and Animal Expedition is one of those that you can get for free. And I'll show you the other side. Isn't that darling? The little frogs on the branches and the leaves. But I wanted to use this pattern so like I said, so you'll need the Animal Outing stamp set along with the designer series paper. Uh, for cardstock, you're gonna be using Lemon Lime Twist, and I'll give you the measurements as we go through it. Um, you're gonna need a scrap piece of Lemon Lime Twist, a uh, piece of um, Whisper White. For the twine right here, I used our Whisper White Baker's Twine. For the ink colors, I'm using Pool Party and Lemon Lime Twist. To do the stamping, I'm gonna be using the Stamparatus and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. For the die cutting, I pulled out my stitched shape framelits and then also the layering square framelits. Um, you will need a corner rounder. I am using our formerly retired uh, Project Life Punch. So I'm sure you have a corner rounder laying around. And then uh, for the ribbon, this is the Lemon Lime Twist Ombre Ribbon. And then the last thing, I think, is um, the 1 8 inch hole punch. And then adhesive. So I used a combination of snail and dimensionals. But I love it. I love these colors together. All right, so let's get started. So you are gonna start off with a piece of Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. This measures eight by four and a quarter, and you will also need your Simply Scored scoring tool. I forgot about that. So let's go ahead and get that out and make our score marks so we can create the box. And I'm gonna start off in portrait, and the score marks are half inch, one inch, three and a half inches and four inches. All right, rotate it to where it's landscape and we're going to score at two and a half, three, five and a half, and lastly at six inches. All right, so we're done with our scoring. So what I like to do next is to get out my bone folder and fold on all the score marks and give it a good burnish, especially when you're making 3D projects like this. It's always very helpful, or at least for me, to burnish it with your bone folder. Okay, the other thing that I found helpful is to, um, on the sides, is to fold the, uh, the, the second score line first, and then come in and do the thinner one. Okay, and so we'll do the same thing over here. And this little guy. So y'all are actually seeing this video um, next week. Today is actually Tuesday the 17th. 
also um, I'm making this uh, a week ahead of schedule because my daughter and I, we are on the Alaskan cruise. So I do have an Alaskan special. Um, you should have seen it advertised already, uh, but if you aren't familiar with it, I'll tag it below in the description box and then also it will be linked in today's blog post. So that's what it's gonna look like all folded. I have made a little template to show you what we will be cutting off. So we're gonna be cutting off everything from two and a half inches down. So when you're looking at your box, for me, I put the two and a half inches on the right and then the smaller box on the left. I think this measures like two inches and this is two and a half. So you wanna um, make sure that you keep the larger square. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut. If you like to do this um, with your paper trimmer, you can. I'm just, I find it just as easy to do it with scissors. And if you need to trim off a little bit, you can. If you need to clean up your cut lines. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Now for adhesive, I am going to be using snail um, just for video purposes. Uh, you know, snail may be sufficient, but you can always use tear and tape. Or if you like to use um, wet adhesive, you know, a, a glue, you could definitely do that as well. All right, so these are trash. Now what I'm gonna do is the smaller flap, um, this is gonna be the lid, and I wanna corner round, I'm gonna take my corner round punch and go ahead and just punch both pieces, or both sides, I should say. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna show you, um, you're gonna need three pieces of the designer series paper, and each of these measure two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I'm gonna take one of them and just round two sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the box, just because it's gonna be a lot easier to do it um, while it's flat. And so what you're gonna do is, um, this part of the flap is gonna be um, on the back side, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and put uh, quite a bit of snail over it, and you wanna put some at the very top, and then make sure you get those edges good. You're just gonna leave a little bit of a border. Make sure you press that down because this is how it's gonna be. And you may have to put more adhesive um, when you bend it. It may pop up. If it does, just lift it up and put more adhesive, but I think I got that good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is come in and put adhesive on this strip right here and then this really thin strip right here. So like I said, this is where you can use your tearing tape if you want. Um, I'm just using snail. You could do uh, wet adhesive, like I said. And now we're just gonna build our box and I find it easiest to, uh, to make the box starting with the wider side, the wider flap, and then come back and do the thinner flap. And if you need to adjust it, just remember not to press too hard. And I think you'll be able to adjust the sides and um, without ripping your cardstock. But that's what it looks like. So now what we can go ahead and do is put our other squares on the front and the back. And we just want to make sure that our pattern is going the same direction. Let me make sure I've got this right. Yep. And this side, paper is going all crazy. And if you can, you know, line up the stripes from the lid. And then next you'll want to put in your candy. And that's how it looks when you close it. Isn't that darling? All right, now we can take our ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a bow. 
and just make sure your ribbon is flat on both ends. And let's see, I think that's a little bit more than what I need. And I'm just going to tie a bow here in the center. So just go ahead and tie a knot. And you don't have to do this if you if your ribbon doesn't slip. Now you can go ahead and just leave it like this. Just cut off the um, tails. But I'm going to go ahead and do a bow because I think that looks cute. There we go. And I know you can't see me, but sticking out your tongue helps a little bit. <laughs> I was sticking my tongue out while I was trying to get that bow. So if you have problems, stick out your tongue. That may help you. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna cut off the tails to the desired length. And now the fun part, let's do our stamping. So uh, this is where you're gonna get your Whisper White and your two ink colors, Pool Party and Lemon Lime Twist. And let me get out the Stamparatus. Oh my gosh, this tool is an absolute godsend. If you are getting a, if you purchased from me in the month of June, you will be getting a thank you card, or you may have already received it if you're if you're close to me, um, of a card that I used the Stamparatus exclusively. And let me tell you, that tool, oh my gosh, if I didn't have that tool, those cards would have taken me forever. And um, what I had done is I had, I think, four, five different stamps, and I was using both the one side and this side, flipping it over, and then the um, down here, this side. Oh, I love this tool. It took, you know, I will say that I wasn't crazy about it at the beginning. Um, I don't like changing things, so um, I kind of, I was... I don't know. I just, you know, you know how it is when you're when you have when you're using a new crafting tool. You're just used to what you've used formally. And uh, but anyway, I love this tool now. I can't say enough great things about it. All right, so I've just got my cardstock right there. I have it held down with one of the uh, magnets, and I'm inking up the welcome in pool party, and then we'll stamp it right here. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in with the, and I'll scoot this up so you can see this a little bit better. There you go. I'm gonna come in with the other uh, plate and I've got it in the hinge and I'm gonna ink this up. I know you probably won't see this. I'm gonna ink this up in Lemon Lime Twist. Voila, isn't that adorable? So if you were doing this for, um, a lot of, if you were making this for a lot of things, this is where, you know, a lot of party favors or whatever, this is where this tool just comes in so handy. All right, so I'm going to put this away. Okay, now we're going to do our die cutting. So um, with this scrap piece of lemon lime twist and with your stamped image, um, for the Whisper White, you're going to use the very smallest stitched square. And then for the whisper or for the lemon lime twist, you will be using, I think this is the second smallest um, scallop square. And I will verify that um, when I am editing the video. So you just take these over to your big shot and go ahead and and go ahead and die cut them. I've already done it for us. So that's what it's gonna look like when you're done. This is a tiny, tiny scallop just peeking out. And I'm gonna put uh, a dimensional. Let's see. I'm putting the dimensionals kind of on the lower end, or actually I can put one up here, because I'm going to be um, tying my string. Oh, I did it on the wrong side, shoot. I'm gonna be tying my string on this side, so I wanna be able to uh, punch that hole really easily. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off the paper and just 
find it a lot easier to do it like this. Just get those scallops even all the way around. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like when it's done. It kind of looks like a little postage stamp. Okay, so now you're going to take your 1 8 inch punch and I'm just going to kind of bend down the lemon lime twist and you're just going to make a hole. Try to, you know, if you can, put it behind the, uh, the white square so you can't see it. Okay, I messed up the first one and I just had an idea. Go ahead and punch <laughs> the hole first so you're not trying to do this after you put the, this on there. Duh, Kara. You know, sometimes you have to make mistakes before you kind of figure out a simple solution. Okay. Let's cut that away. So it's gonna look like that. All right, so now we can bring our box back in and let's go ahead and just get some twine. And go ahead and feed that through, one end through your hole. And then I'm going to tie a knot where it looks cute hanging down from the, the box. So you want it to dangle a little bit, like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to Oops. Just make a loop with both um, ends of the twine and just pull. And then you want to make sure that you um, push the knot down to the end. There we go. Like so. And then you can just cut off the ends. Looks like that. I may have mine. I, ideally, I'd like my knot just a little bit lower, but you get the idea. I'll bring this one in. But anyway, I hope y'all loved this project. It was just, it's absolutely adorable. This size box you can use for a variety of occasions, um, you know, at Christmas time, at Thanksgiving, Halloween, you know, whatever. Um, a lot of this box is uh, very versatile. And like I said, you can do it, use it with a lot of, um, a lot of different occasions. So let me show you again. This was using Animal Outing. And then the coordinating designer series paper, which is part of the buy three, get one free. That will go through the end of this month. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later this week. Bye.